shrooms inside this Uncle Ben's Ready Rice. Uh, apparently the idea here is that this stuff is already uh, pre-cooked, pre-sterilized, and can uh, colonize these spores really well. And you can even fruit right directly from the bag. Uh, bought four of these bags, so I think I'm going to take two of them and try to uh, spawn directly from the bag and see if that works. If not, um, I've got these other two bags that I'm probably just going to maybe uh, put this into a bulk substrate and see if that uh, will colonize and hopefully fruit as well too. So um, I'm brand new to all this shit, but I am already trying to experiment with as many ways uh, at, at growing mushrooms as I can so far. So wanted to see if this super easy way works. But essentially what we're going to do first is take these bags here and so we're going to coat them in some alcohol. Just kind of get them a little wet right there. I'm using 70% isopropyl alcohol. And then we're just going to wipe that down with this uh, paper towel here real quick. And from what I've been told, I need to essentially inject them just like a Capri Sun pouch. Um, and then I'm going to cover that up with some uh, micro tape. So I've got some micro tape that I'm going to cover that up with. And then we're going to split the corner here, or cut the corner rather with some scissors and cover that with some micro tape for some uh, free air exchange through the bag. So next we're going to take our spore syringe and so I've already inoculated a couple things with this one so I've got about six cc's left it looks like here. So I think I'll do three cc's into this and three cc's into that. That might be a little bit more than what most people want to go for but hopefully it will give me a faster colonization there. So. Um, going to flame sterilize this needle here and supposed to get this about red hot there we go that looks good there and I'm gonna spray it down with a little more alcohol here just cool it down okay and we're going to inoculate the bag right in the center here. Okay, let me try and get it in a couple spots here. Okay, that'll do it for our first bag there. And then we're going to take our micro tape and cover it. Just want to make sure that injection site can't get any more debris in there. Thought process there. Can't see where I stabbed it. There we go. I guess I should be consistent and try to stab them in the same spot at least. Okay. And I'm going to inoculate the other bag. I'm going to sterilize the syringe again here before we stick it back into our second bag to avoid any cross contamination. We'll get this red hot again here. go hit it with some alcohol and inoculate bag two here okay so right here there's this little fleck of I don't know parsley <laughs> on the bag here so we'll start with that Okay, 
I'll cover that one up now. Alrighty. Next, I'm going to cut the corners of each of these bags here. Good measure, I'm gonna spray my scissors down. Hopefully don't get any shit in the bag. And just gonna cut off the little ear here. And I'm gonna immediately cover that up with some tape. Just fold it over and hopefully that'll give enough breathable air for the mycelium in there and we'll do the same for this one okay I'm gonna do the tape a little bit different on this one kind of maybe Keep the hole a little bit wider, maybe. I don't know. Just to see how each does. All right. I guess that's it. Um, now I set these aside, let them do their thing for four weeks, and then hopefully the mycelium is fully colonized in there. And if so, I'll try to put these in some sort of fruiting chamber, probably. Probably just a basic shotgun fruiting chamber or something. Uh, I don't know. We'll have to see. But that ought to do it.